Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard episode 185. Yo, it's me, it's me, it's cool guy me. Back with another video. That might be my new intro. Let me know what you guys think about it. Someone dropped that in the comments uh, about three videos back or four videos back that I should do like, it's me, it's me, it's cool guy me. Is that like, it's like, it's me, it's me, it's DDP. Or is that not even it? Hey yo, it's me. Me, cool guy, me. I don't know, let me know. I don't know, I was getting bored of. Hey, yo, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to. Anyway, what that? What was that rambling on? What was that about? Um, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, it is, it is, it is almost. No, it is com exactly 1 am. And it's been an exhausting day. I left uh, England, as you guys know. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed and were okay with obviously not uploading much and them not obviously being the best videos ever but i hope you guys did enjoy them nonetheless we're back to good old videos streaming on youtube if i'm off work tomorrow but i'm pretty sure i'm working tomorrow so yeah we'll, we'll see but i'm gonna get streaming soon um in this episode we have got so much to do and it is insane the stuff we've got to do so the first thing is, is which is I'm going to show you guys right now, and it's a bit of a problem, and it's really starting to frustrate me, because after this, Team RT, well, the Team RTG has just finished, and I'll let you guys know how we did on that. But after this, we've got RTG for the second John Cena, which may very well be a Flash RTG, which would mean a new tier or something in the next update, but probably a new tier. And obviously, I'd have loved to have my ladder for the new tier, but no, we are actually 13 games away from it, so it's a bit of a shame because um, it means obviously we're going to get a WrestleMania card instead, and it is a male, so it's not even it's not even that good for WrestleMania tier. We're probably not even going to get someone we need. Um, so that is in this episode. We've got a fusion in this episode, and we've also got uh, background wards. Actually, sorry guys, you know what? Ladder will be in tomorrow's episode. Because why why would we do everything everything fun in one go? And I'm probably not actually gonna play any supercard until tomorrow, so we'll we'll leave we'll leave that for tomorrow. Team RTG guys, how do we do in here? Well I've got a massive smile, so I've probably given it away. Now it <laughs> it's quite funny. It is because we started off really decently. I went to bed uh last night and we had almost finished Ziggler. I wake up and we're like 200 points on Austin Aries. To be fair, I did wake up quite early. Um, and you know, it was only four hours after. But it was like, uh, it was getting it was getting to the end of, end of it. And um, I was obviously traveling all day. I get off my flight, um, yeah, get in the train, got my 4G, because I'm back in Switzerland, so I could use my, I, I, was, I, had no, I had no 4G in England, so I got back in Switzerland, I was like, yeah, Get on Supercard, an hour and two minutes remaining, we were on 550 points. One hour and like two minutes remaining. We got this Sasha Banks with six minutes to spare, I think. Six minutes. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. So huge shout out to everyone in the team. Julian Coman fucking smashed it. Over 1,000 points. King Steamer, Sean, myself... All put in a really good grind. Sarah put actually, like, yeah, Sarah as well. All put in a really, really big grind. But massive shout out to Julian Co. Really MVP, obviously. Um, Del Flame. Flame. I'm going to give a couple words on Flame because it is, it's a sad day. The day that he has obviously decided to quit Supercard. Um, you know, he literally was probably in, like, one of my episodes, like, right at the beginning, like, maybe episode 10, between 10 and 20, he, Fatboy, D2, featured a lot, actually, in, in the early stages, featured a lot in my videos, and D2 has now quit, D2 has quit as well, Flame has now quit, um, and Fatboy, Fatboy's pretty much quit, it seems, as well, I mean, he's, you're playing Fatboy, if you're watching this, first of all, Flame, you've, you've been awesome, man, it's been so much fun playing Supercard with you over the last couple months, um, oh yeah, definitely, definitely hope, we'll definitely stay in contact, obviously, you know, obviously, but yeah, it's a sad day that, uh, that it's an end of an era of Supercard, anyway, but we'll move, we'll move on, we'll move on, rest in peace, man, rest in peace. 
So yeah, there's going to be a spot, but yeah, all of that to basically say that there's a spot available in the team um, are as soon as I can start kicking some people and getting the team in order. So that's why we're not starting any battlegrounds for now, because we've got some stuff to take care of in the team. And well, I'm just not going to really do battleground right now until RTG comes out so we can get the charges as well as just playing RTG. Um, but anyway guys, enough of a lot of talking. Uh, you guys are here to see a fusion and you're here to see battle, battleground rules. So I'm going to do... I'm going to keep the best till last and I actually think the fusion is the better one so because you can't even get females from this and there's only a certain amount of people that will actually be useful. Roman Reigns, um, John Cena are literally the only ones that would be like really good and then Ken, Sh not Ken Shamrock, oh god not Ken Shamrock, Brian Kendrick, The Miz, Neville, Kevin Owens and that is it. Pretty much that. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's exactly it, actually. So yeah, anything anything beyond that is complete use, complete trash, and completely useless. Let's claim our rewards. Let's do this. Boom! Battle points. That takes us up to 39k. 1,000 away from being able to afford two Hall of Fame packs. Obviously, we're not gonna get a Hall of Fame pack for these battle points. But yeah, what's next? My WrestleMania is next. Come on, come on, come on, come on! No, no, no. Roman Reigns and Ultimate John Cena. Nope. No, 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 no. So, yep. Yeah. As good as it is to get a Chris Jericho, maybe some of you guys watching this are like, dude, you've got a fucking WrestleMania Chris Jericho. Just be happy already. It's like my fifth one. You know, <laughs> it just doesn't matter anymore. Fusion. Okay. Um, who do I really want this to be? So, my number one pick on who I want this to be is Bobby Roode. Number two, AJ Styles. Number three, probably that Nia Jax. I can make a pro. But... AJ Styles because he's my favourite wrestler right now in WWE and, you know, Kurt Angle's not actually active right now. So, yeah, AJ is. Um, Bobby Roode because he'd make a pro and I probably would actually pro them because by the time they bring out a new tier and by the time they bring out the fusions for the new tier, i got time to do a lot of WrestleMania fusions. So, yeah, I'm all good on that. Um, I'll probably definitely, I'll, not probably, I'll definitely pro it. Um, so, yeah, let's see what we get, guys. Come on. Just not Alistair Black. Alistair Black is the one I don't want to get. Hey, we get Carmella. That's pretty sick. Got both females now. Nice. I'll take that, actually. Definitely take that. There you go. Both females. And I like that. I really like that picture. Really like that picture. Really do. Okay. Um, I'll get another one on the go later. I'm not going to bore with you. Bore you guys with all of that now. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's bore you guys with it. Because why not? <laughs> Why not? Um, what, what is, what's new, really, for me to show you? If if some of you guys have missed my last couple of videos, a quick recap. Well, we got Seth. None of you actually got to saw that because my fucking recording. Um, but that is pretty sick. I love the picture on him. Eddie Guerrero as well, for people who didn't see that. I do want the this picture on him. That one looks really sick. Um, what else is kind of new? Not much. Not much. Yeah, you know what is actually this? This is new. Another pro Sasha. Another pro Sasha. So, yeah, that's what I think of it. There we go. Uh, Team RTG was completely useless for me. Uh, I grinded and I was so invested in it because I know it's going to help out a lot of people in the team. And that is my main focus. Team event, you know, it, 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 the name team event is named that for a reason, you know. Um, solo events, it's really up to you, you know, go for it, don't go for it, it's your personal gain, but your team, people are counting on you, and I put myself in the position of others, imagine if that was, like, let's say Alexa, it would have been Alexa, and people would have already had maybe Alexa Pro and stuff, and they would have maybe put less effort into it, well, no, no, because, you know, that Alexa would have been a pro for me, and I would have loved to get an Alexa Bliss, you know, and... Some people in the team obviously have not as good decks as I do, um, so that Sasha would have even been more important to them. So, you know, it's not just up to, like, if it was a pro or not for me, if I'd already... Me aside, you know, it's there's ten other, well, nine other people in the team, so that's why, obviously, I got really invested in it, just in case you guys are wondering. Oh, that's your fourth Sasha Banks now, why do you care? Um, John Cena is kind of the, a new thing that I haven't really showed you guys, because my last video was six things I want in the next update, and that was obviously recorded even before I went to England, and then the video before that was episode 184, which was now three days ago, which was a bit a, a bit of ring domination, but while I was on the John Cena cards, so you guys didn't actually see me get it, and a bit of something really, like, it is kind of weird, and I don't understand why 
it happened, and I, I'm I'm gonna fully, fully like reveal the truth because I I kind of like at first I was like not sure if I was gonna admit it or not, but it has nothing to do with me. There was literally a name, a file name on QuickTime, okay, that had this name, brutal sex thing, and like it was li it literally had it there, like on the video as well. If you guys wanna go and check that. But it wasn't, it wasn't like my history or anything, you know, you can, you would have seen a bunch of that on my history, but no, it was literally a file in QuickTime named, it was like a recording of Supercard that named itself that, not by me at all, um, and I couldn't delete it, I couldn't open the file of the recording, uh, it was really weird, really, really weird, but yeah, not even using my Mac anymore because that was on my Mac, but yeah, <laughs> quick little, quick little, uh, clarif clarification on that one. What else, guys? Nijax, yeah, let's, you know what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock that Carmella in. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, there is something I wanted to, sh yeah, here we go, our WrestleMania, so, bro, I forgot Sami Zayn, that's what I forgot. Kevin Owens, Neville, Miz, Brian Kendrick, I said, Sami Zayn is the other one I forgot, because then I said, I said John Cena, uh, and Roman Reigns as well. Because Roman Reigns is the only WrestleMania card I haven't got yet. Only card I haven't got. Uh, apart from that, you guys know I kind of cracked a little bit when I was in England and opened a couple packs. Got this guy, who's a single. Uh, got another Eddie Guerrero, which is kind of useless, so might as well, I, I might actually even use him in the Fusion. Uh, Chris Jericho's finally pro I went back in Ring Dom and got him. Sasha Banks just pro John Cena from Battleground, and all of these Hardens, you guys know I'm keeping. Because I'm trying to do the hardened catalogue. Why is that Ziggler? Was that Ziggler? Oh, so I'm, you know, I might be very. God, I hate my catalogue when it's not cleaned up. It was clean. It was really neat and tidy before, but battleground and and all of that kind of uh, put that in. Yeah, I need I need to clear it up. But thank God I got fusions to clear it up. What did I actually want to do, guys? I'm I'm so I'm going on so much in this video. This must be really boring. The last couple. Minutes of it, yeah. The John Cena, so he's completely done. I put him in the Team RTG with Bobby Roode. He should be completely done as well. Brilliant. Nijax should be com <laughs> brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, so they're all done. In case I get a pro of them, and what is that thing I wanted to do? Oh, let's level up our let's level up our um Carmella that we just got. We'll put in. Austin Aries, Roman Reigns, John Cena, that should be enough. 46, damn, okay. Uh, let's go on to enhancements. No, that's not going to be enough. Do I have Diamond Dallas Page pro already? I'm pretty sure I do, but I don't want to risk it, so I'll put Chris Jericho in. I know that's overkill, but whatever. Carmel is done. And what we'll do is they're both unlocked. He's unlocked in case, so is he. And is there anyone else I can unlock? Yeah, there is. I'm pretty sure Carmella and AJ are ready. Okay, so we'll go and do the fusion now, and then we'll wrap up the video there, guys. Uh, it's going to be a long video today, and it's just a lot of talking, and you know, but well, we did background and, and fusion, I suppose. But yeah, it's been a while. It's definitely been a while, and it feels, it feels longer than it is. It was only like three days ago, but yeah, it was just, it wasn't, you know, you guys didn't get to see me. Uh, Alright, Wrestlemania. Oh no, I locked. Oh no, last one guys. Last one. This is the last one. This is uh, kind of sad because then we have to start the whole cycle again. So hopefully we can get a pro a pro Carmella would be pretty cool. A pro Carmella is what we want. Or an AJ Styles or a pro Bobby or a pro Nia Jax. I'm not really too fussy. Oh, uh, let's get Lana in there. We let's go to let's kind of let's kind of get rid of these ultimates that I really want to get rid of for a while now. Uh, AJ Styles can go, and <sighs> Rhino can. Well, you can actually. Where the hell is that AJ? I oh, know it's it's Carmella. Um, do we want to just do that? I mean, we're finally getting rid of these ultimate pros. I don't need any more. Yeah, activate that. Thank you. Brilliant, okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna clean up my catalog a little bit and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna not do, well, I'm done on Supercard actually. I must make sure I don't accidentally play 13 games tomorrow before I come home from work um, and record obviously me uh, getting the ladder reward. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna actually, sorry, before I end it, 
two quick words on Great Balls of Fire. Uh, it was great. Really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it, actually. I thought it was a, it was a really good pay-per-view. Bray, Seth went on first, which I was happy about because I was really not looking forward to that match. And because it was just unexpected, Bray winning, and I'm kind of really sick of seeing Seth right now, and I'm just not enjoying him as a babyface at all. Nothing of what he's doing is interesting me. So I was happy to see him lose that, actually. Bray deserves to get a good win on a pay-per-view. Um, even though their feud doesn't make sense, I'm not into their feud at all. I'm glad break the win. And overall, I don't think there was any really bad thing that got me like really negative about the show. The fact that they took so long with the Roman um, Braun segment with the backstage and Heath Slater winning, not even seeing that, that annoyed me a little bit. Um, but overall, I think it was pretty good. Braun Roman t like kind of stole the show for me. I really liked that. If I could pick a little bit, and I am because I really enjoyed it. I gave it an 8 out of 10 on Twitter. If you guys, by the way, don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do. I'm a lot more active on Twitter than I used to be, um, especially when raw pay-per-views are on. So yeah, definitely drop me a follow. Link will be in the description. Cheap plug. But yeah, I gave it an 8 out of 10, and I really think it, it deserved an 8 out of 10. Um, if I can pick a little bit on the Bray, not on the Bray, on the Braun Roman, I'd have loved for Braun to say, I'm not finished with you. That would have really capped off and been sick. Um, and a quick word on the main event. I loved every, almost, no, almost every second of it. Almost every second of it. I would have given the match a 10 out of 10. A genuine 10 out of 10, because, you know, it's Brock Lesnar, you know, it, you know, he, he doesn't last, you know, his matches don't go the longest, and I've, you know, I think we've all got that now, and we're all okay with it, I suppose, well, not okay with it, but we've learnt to live with it, let's put it this way, and Joe looked like a beast in the match, she actually, I know that, like, no pun intended, beast, that's Brock, but he did, he, gen Joe really went on the offence, like, on the offence, like, straight away, he didn't look weak at all, apart from the finish. What would have been a perfect, a perfect, a perfect for me? Obviously, Joe winning aside, I'm just talking about the match itself, the winner, that has nothing to, that's just my personal, like, you know, I wanted Joe to win, but that has nothing to do with it. Um, I'm fine with Brock winning, you know, I'm fine with that, that's just how it works, you know. Joe didn't win, that's, that's life. But um, what would have been great is F5, Joe kicks out, okay? It would have gone on maybe for two more minutes, Another F5 or something. One, two, three. It, uh, Kokina Clutch gets up. F5s. One, two, three. So, such a disappointing ending. But anyway, overall, really enjoyed Great Balls of Fire, guys. I'm rambling on so much in this video. It's going to be so long. I apologize for you guys who actually made it through to the whole video. If you guys are right now watching this and you've made it through the whole entire video, type in uh, in the comments, I am brave okay just i'm brave i'm really brave anything like that in the comments i'll know you guys have watched the whole thing thank you for watching drop it a like if you've enjoyed it really appreciate that i'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video till then take care and peace out